Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. I wanted to come out and share with you a dream I was given last night. Now I believe this is a warning dream of something that's actually going to take place. But at the same time, I believe the Lord is showing us uh, that he is going to keep us hidden. He will hide us uh, when these things begin to unfold. So I'll share the dream and then I'll share with you what I believe Holy Spirit is showing me it means. Uh, in this dream I had last night, my sister Michelle and I were standing on the carport of my parents' home, our, um, our childhood home. Now, Michelle typically symbolizes the church when I dream about her, and I believe she symbolizes the church in this dream as well. So as we're standing there, suddenly we hear this, uh, it's like a stealth jet just fly from the west to the east. And it's really loud, but then I hear other ones, but you can't see them. They're like up above the clouds. And then uh, I see another like aircraft that's shrouded in a cloud and it's going by real slowly. I know that it's watching us. And then I see ripples in the sky, the way that you, the, the water looks when it's rippling. And I know that that's another hidden aircraft. So I, I realize that something like an internal invasion is taking place. So I tell my sister, let's go inside so at that point we go into our father's house which is key in the dream because i believe it's showing us that at this moment when this begins to take place this internal invasion uh the church is going to be hidden after we got in the house it i could hear more of the jets and it, it sounded like war and i know other watchmen have heard uh, or seen in visions or dreams that we will be taken up at the time the war begins, when the missiles come down, the, the church goes up. So this kind of confirms this, that, uh, that we will be taken out of here, hidden when that time comes. All right, so then in the next part of the dream, it was like I was shown what happens after this. I was in this big gymnasium type place. It looked like a call center. There were rows of tables and, and young people, young men mainly, and it was, uh, it was like they were all doing something with this processing of these people that were brought in. There were lots of people brought in to be processed. And so as I'm standing there looking directly at some of these young men, it's occurring to me that they knew this was coming, that this invasion, this internal invasion was coming and they did not warn anyone, all right? And so they begin to kind of, some of them are sheepishly looking up at me, knowing that I know they are traitors. So then I'm still in line and I'm hearing what these people are asking those who are being processed. They're asking like, what kind of, what color carpet do you want? What type of furniture? So these people being processed are being led to believe that they're going to be placed in apartments that are designed specifically for their liking, their tastes. But I knew in my spirit they were going to be taken to like concentration camps. But I thought it was very clever how they got the people to cooperate and not only not resist, but want to go, all right? So this all speaks to a deception that is coming. And so I believe that the, the Lord is showing us how this is going to unfold, that it will be an internal type of invasion in America and that people we know, uh, especially the younger generation, their loyalties are not with family. Their loyalties are not with the United States of America. Their loyalties are with something else, something very nefarious. And it's it, this is just the way it is. And, and so all of the programming that's been done, it's all leading the, this younger generation uh, to embrace a deception to embrace a lie and even turn against family and turn against their nation. So I encourage you, church, first of all, pray and, and ask the Father for family, for friends, for coworkers to, to bring them in before the rapture happens so that as many as possible can be spared what's coming on this earth. We know that the time of Jacob's trouble is going to be a time of suffering unparalleled and we are seeing the beginnings of it, all right? We're seeing the beginnings of it with, I believe, this Peru invasion of these seven-foot creatures and the 
Las Vegas invasion of the, the family. Uh, I believe all of this is a part of what is coming, all right? We know the Genesis 6 narrative, that there was a time when these fallen angels came to earth and they uh, procreated with women and created these, these Nephilim hybrid beings. And in the Book of Enoch, it tells us that they will continue to stay in hiding, all right? And they will procreate until the day of slaughter, which I believe is that time, the day of the Lord, when they will come out of hiding and they will begin to be used as instruments of judgment on this earth. All right, so this day is coming and I believe we're seeing the beginnings of it with like these, these things that are happening. Now I can't go into all the details about the hybrid Nephilim beings. I encourage you to check out uh, Tim Alberino's work, Steve Quayle, uh, Tom Horn and Chris Putnam did a lot of work on, on this topic and just try to get yourself educated on this because if you're somebody who doesn't believe that these things exist and you happen to see one, it could be life altering for you. But as Christians, we have to be grounded in the truth, all right? Not tickling our ears with fluffy teachings, things that we want to hear, but we have to be grounded in truth, even the hard truths. And, and the hard truths are these things are on the earth. They're in the earth. Uh, and they're going to come out of hiding and I believe we're seeing the beginnings of it. Now, I believe the Lord gave us the encouragement that when it comes on full force, the church will be hidden away. And Jesus did prophesy that men's hearts would fail them for fear of what was coming on the earth. Now, church, I don't believe we should be included with that. I believe that we as the church uh, need to be educated. So take, take time to learn about this biblical truth that is found in Genesis 6 and and be ready for the things that are coming. Be ready to help family and friends. Uh, do as, as much as you can to, to warn them of the things that are coming. Even if they don't make a decision for Christ, at least maybe they will be able to avoid taking that mark uh, because you educated them on the truth. But we, we can only warn and we can only, uh, as the Holy Spirit leads us, plant seeds of truth, but we ourselves, if we're not educated, we can't help anybody um, if we're not grounded in truth. So please take all this to the Lord in prayer and uh, ask him for a confirmation and you know just do your best to stay hidden in Christ, to stay focused on Jesus, on what he is doing and stay occupied until that day when we're taken out of your church. And as always, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.